Are you in danger of becoming a good man? Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Kind of a grand arena story. Guys, we're going to watch 3v3 footage of my most recent match here. And I know that it says destroy a top player. And I, I do. I, I beat my opponent pretty badly. But they're, they're a better player than I am, frankly. They, they just are. You, you'll have to see for yourselves, uh, you know, the teams that he places and stuff. Maybe it won't seem like it just because I ended up getting the jump on him pretty good. But... I'm going to talk about how it relates to the new 3v3 stuff, and frankly, I just it's good to review old video. One of the things that I've been thinking about, guys, is I'm a decent player. I'm good at you know understanding how things work, but I think that one of the things that I have an advantage on over a ton of other people who play this game is I get to review all my footage from previous matches every time because I make these GAC videos and I, I have to talk about them. I have to watch my old you know my good moves and my bad moves. And I, uh, being able to do that is such a valuable tool. I would honestly suggest you guys just take footage of your stuff and watch it sometimes. It's it's nice to be able to have that as a tool. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at my old stuff. We're gonna be a, we're gonna speed it up to 140 percent. And it's against a top player, a guy who's in the constantly in the top 50 of the leaderboards right now. And they were at the time number three on the leaderboards. At, this is right before the new GAC switched, so you know this is in Division One back in the day, and you know they they were in they were number three on the leaderboards, and uh, all they had to do this is the final match, all they had to do was full clear me and beat me, and they'd be in the top ten for sure, and. Uh, you know, obviously I'm not not real keen on letting people do that. So, let, let's just go for it, guys. I, I don't know exactly what's going to come of this, but I think it, it's valuable to be able to uh, review footage from what our past exploits are and, you know, learn from the past. So let's let's do it, guys. Let's, let's get on over there, shall we? I suppose. We're not going to do it like a GAC recap or anything. We're just going to have insights and discuss along the way. Okay, so, uh, first off, I, I guess I should just say my opponent failed to clear my ships, and, uh, you know, like, I just got lucky, frankly, for the ships, he just couldn't clear my ships, he attacked before I attacked, and he couldn't clear them, and he's a better player than me, everyone, all of us just hit that crazy ship RNG stuff, so, it wasn't like he didn't know how to do it, it's just, I mean, you both put Executor down, and if he can't clear it, uh, then that sucks, but, uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't meant to be something where we, where we're just, uh, you know, we're not trying to create suspense here, we're just trying to figure it out, so, you can see, these are my defenses here, we have Lord Vader here without Maul, Maul did exist, of course, we have I have Maul down a couple spaces lower with bo and Candorous, which I, I don't know how good of choices these are. But, you know, we've got the CLS Chupio team, we've got General Skywalker with Rex and Fives, which is the best version of General Skywalker on defense. Of course, now Wampa's going to beat that. So there, there is that. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just have to keep going. And then I, I, I put Jedi Master... Luke down as well, apparently, so that was that was a little crazy of me, but, um, yeah, I don't know why it's just, like, looping here, guys, really not sure, come on, dude, hmm, yeah, we got Jedi Master Luke with, what's her name, Barris and stuff, <laughs> All right, in the back. Let's see, Ray with armor and L three. That that was so tough to beat. And my opponent never ended up clearing that one either. I, I think they were out of GLs actually. So, uh, yeah, we have GL Newt in the back. Uh, I like to put that team in the front too sometimes. But let's see, Padme and uh, Anakin. Anakin's not going to be on a Padme team anymore. Padme in threes is going to be really interesting. Thing, actually folks uh, not not really sure what we're gonna not sure what's gonna happen with that and then I really like that Asajj zombie spirit team 
I know a lot of people like to keep Night Sisters on offense for Supreme Leader Kylo, and I get that, but uh, you don't don't need it. And I did put my Jedi training raid team with with the draw. All right, and then I don't know why this is skipping around so much, guys. It's taking forever. Come on, Zareth, hurry up, dude. We haven't got all day. Now, the thing is, even at 140% speed, you know, this is all this is all just footage from my live stream. So, uh, look, look at that, though, guys. I put, I put Bad Batch. Look at how I split my clones. I put, I put Echo and Ark with Shock T, and then Hunter, Tech, and Wrecker together. And then the one team that did get a hold was that Fin Fin Po team, which is kind of, I mean, it's, it's ironic because that, that team isn't wonderful these days um <laughs> i mean it's good i i just it's just funny like i didn't make my fin fast i think i was just exclaiming on that and then you know we have this that weird boba team remember there's no omicrons here so here's here's the my opponent they, they failed on fleets and you know they beat the negotiator in one shot and then fleets they just we all have those off days guys we all have those off days so Really sad. I mean, this is this is match number twelve. The guy's full cleared and done so awesome. So, uh, you know, you kind of feel bad, but okay. So they've got they, they have Jedi Master Luke with Aura, or sorry, with with Plo and whatever her name is, Ayla, not Aura. And then they do have Ray with Hoda and Armor. Gosh, that's so scary, guys. Pretty dang scary. And then Luke with. Kenobi and Shock T. Remember, if Shock T is ridiculously fast, that, that's an issue. And then they have Skywalker with the two lesser, well, with two, so Fives is really good with General Skywalker. But then, and remember, this is after the nerfs and everything. And so, you know, the General Skywalker is, quote, you know, better. He's the, he's the version that we're currently using. And then Ark with Fives. So this, uh, you know, this isn't an easy front zone. However, I think I have a few... If I remember right, I watched some of this recently. Uh, you know, <laughs> not, not all of it though. The reason, this is just so valuable being able to see what the stuff that people, the top players are taking. So you can see the, the Darth Revan team with Malak is hanging out there and, and everything. And you know, we're probably gonna just cut out ships too, guys. We don't need to, we don't need to watch ships today. That'll be fun. Okay, so they got, they had that General, or General Grievous team with Nest on it. That, that's a little bit scary. There's Basti with Old Ben and Ezra, Newt, Django, and L3, so a little bit different than, than we've been seeing, and then, you know, the, the Luke team and the crew team, I mean, it's all pretty standard stuff, stuff we're gonna see in 3v3 this time, at least in the first few weeks, but obviously there's, there's been a lot of changes, so... Uh, I guess we're going to take Sith Eternal Emperor. Oh, that's right. So, here's the thing, guys. We want to save Watt. Or maybe, maybe Watt's nice. I don't think he's on defense. But we need to save Watt. And it's pretty scary to try to... <laughs> so, so against this Jedi Master Luke, you don't want to... If you get stunlocked, then you're you're in trouble. You, you don't want to get stunlocked. So, they killed, killed the adds right away. But we, we, what we need to do here is get Link... And so that that's why, like, their Jedi Master Luke's faster than Sith Eternal. And so you, the, the workaround, like, the the one cool thing that you can actually manage here is that uh, if you, if they kill your guys, then they get it gets rid of all your debuffs. So they, they ability block you uh, before you go, and then they kill all your guys, and you're able to... You're able to get that ability block off, and so even though we don't have the ultimate yet, like the ultimate's just not happening right now, it's uh, you know we're kind of surviving a little bit here. Once you kill the adds, which the adds aren't anything too impressive, then you just get into a slappy fight with with Luke, and you win pretty easily. So you know not the greatest banners, but you also didn't need to use Watt there. So that that was kind of a hack. Because we needed, we needed Watt for something else, probably. Okay, so here was my conundrum. I didn't know how to beat his Jedi, or his Darth Revan team, if I remember correctly. Like, I, I just didn't know what, what we were supposed to do. Uh, but my Darth Revan was faster than his, which is wonderful, because that, <laughs> that never really happens. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, 
Or we just go on the mirror, and I, I'm guessing I just didn't play this the perfect way, but, uh, you know, gotta, gotta get through if you can, so, okay. We're looking pretty good here, actually, guys. <laughs> We're, like, full health and protection. Going in against Malak, and I think things go kind of south here, if I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it only takes a few hits and things go south, so... Yeah, look at that force drain. There it goes, Revan. I guess this force drain just to get our to get our stacks up on Malak. Here we can't stun him for the life of us. And Basti's in prime condition to get force drained. And now the tables have kind of turned. We've got shock. We've <laughs> we he's uh, he's been wrecking us here. So we've got healing immunity. Dear Lord. What a stressful fight this is. Luckily, he force drained there. I think that, I think any other move would have just ended it. But the AI is dumb for a lot of good reasons. And look at that. Two 47s in a row. Gosh. What a crazy fight, though. All right, so one, one shot. That, that's good. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing, guys. If, if you can avoid critting, then Kenobi's never going to actually taunt so the the question is like how exactly do you do do you work this around so they have a really fast shock t I'm, I'm faster though my ps just a little bit faster because he's got, he's got plus 20 speed which means shock t has to be just ruinously fast but see see how kenobi isn't taunting right there uh, because because you're, you're not doing crits. He only taunts when you do crits. And so that, that was kind of my workaround in this case. And now, in a way, this is more stressful. This part is more stressful. Because you get you can punch Luke out pretty easily. But, uh, yeah. The other ones the other ones are countering and stuff. Okay, so <laughs> 51. Remember, 54 is the soft max here, guys. So, uh, yeah. 3v3, man. It's a little bit crazy. A little bit stressful. Here, against, against this top level player. Uh, so, let's see. Look at that. There's no preview screen. That was stressful. <laughs> I miss it. Alright, so. Bam Han Chewy, guys, counters General Skywalker here. I'm not, I'm not convinced that I played it perfectly, actually. So, you want to do basic, though, because you, you want whistling birds to go on people if, if necessary. Alright, so we can put healing immunity on Chewy. I, I thought maybe I wouldn't get a turn with Chewy, though. I think, I think that was a little bit misguided, actually. Okay, so we killed that guy, and no healing immunity necessary. I guess that did just heal Chewy, though. Try to stun him, and instead Chewy dies. But the Whistling Birds got him. 49 banners. Gosh, what ugly banners here, guys. But, I mean, you put a crazy tough defense down too and the question is does he have any galactic legends in the back zone because i mean typically 3v3 we want to keep a lot of gls so i do have Gen jedi master kenobi here and i was like i was like you know we gotta gotta use this on this ray because she's gonna she's gonna have master's training and a bunch of stacks potentially uh you know it's nice to be able to at least just take out that that armor before she can actually put stacks of Beskar on on Rey. And honestly, I mean, I, I can see myself doing this a lot, of keeping Jedi Master Kenobi on offense a lot, just because uh, he, could, he could potentially just take out a GL without using Cat in some instances, and if that's the case, then, I mean... But then we can use Cat somewhere else. Uh, so she's got her ult. We may as well pop our ult here, I believe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. So, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well, let's take Ray out. I think she's in damage immunity already. She's already had it. So, just need to finish Ray off, guys. That's all we need to do. can eat that ult with Kenobi. That's pretty fancy of us. And I think back then... Back then, I, I wasn't as big on just trying to get armor shred onto people with cat, so... Alright, 52. That's, that's not too bad. Yeah, I was, I was always going for that big hit with her. So, 
All right, the question is, did he trap us? And we're, we're going to actually have to... There is a really cool thing. I'm going to show you, let you guys see it. So, he he did, in fact, trap us, folks. He's got Lord Vader with Maul. Well, he tried to trap us, but we've got a team available for it. However, first, let's get... My, my kids had some advice to give. I had this in my video. You guys can watch it, but we're, I'm going to... Gonna let you guys watch it in real time here. Hold on. Well, real time, whatever. Yeah, you'll see. Just a sec. Well, a good tip is place OK teams in your front zone, but in your back zones, place stronger teams like Galactic Legends. So they'll use their strong teams to clear your okay teams and then all they'll have left is junk and okay teams so how are they going to beat great teams like Darth Revan and Fuzz Nest and Galactic Legends it's a great tip bunny Thanks. what else don't fall into traps it's a trap it's a trap All right, folks. My kids are awesome. <laughs> they have good advice. I actually think I should probably start doing that more and get them in on more video opportunities here. So, uh, this Newt, the, the GL Newt teams that, that we all feared, like, I had started using this Basti Cam squad, at least on the versions that don't have, that, that have without bb1 like b1 really messes things up i think i feel like i used other things you guys can check out my gac counters sheet as well that that should be up to date at this point so you guys can take a look but i mean gl nude is so good but you can you can kind of handle it with with this basti cam squad that's so i i'm a little bit reluctant to put qui-gon on defense because kiati mundi like qui-gon and company it, it's you know, it's a very good squad and all of that, but, you know, if you want, if you need Cam there, it makes things a little bit more challenging, I guess. So, uh, okay. Here's, here's my favorite team in 3v3, guys. This is Thridian, and I realize that Gideon, Moff Gideon, has his new, has his new place as the leader, you know, he's, he's got things that work. Uh, okay, so I, I I already failed to fracture Luke, guys. Uh, that's I mean, I, I fractured him, but then Thrawn came out of it. But here's the awesome thing about Thrawn, or about this Thridian team, guys, is how much control we have. Like you, I call it the half step, like the, the Thrawn leadership ability that you can use. So check out, I, I have him fractured. I have Luke fractured. And then Thrawn had a bunch of turn meter at, at that moment. And I didn't want Thrawn to get a turn so I just used Gideon to reduce everyone's turn meter so I wanted to do a half step here pro or at least that's that's the option so that you you take you can you get 50% turn meter and you get to cycle through again and you know you can dispel all the debuffs and this this 3PO team or this this CLS team this is maybe the most challenging version of the like the, the most challenging instance of this team that I'd faced that season. I remember saying that in the video. But, yeah, you get the get the fracture on Luke. And you can see we, we don't have any damage, but as long as we keep putting armor shred on these guys, and then we can fracture and just keep... I mean, 3PO's not doing active damage, it does passive damage, but you can kind of just keep them contained. You get, a good, get some good banners for a team that's... Uh, just like control characters, essentially. You know, Stormtrooper needs to be okay. He, he can take out a lot of different teams with that Thridian squad, though, guys. So this is my favorite bounty hunter squad with the with the Bosk, Grief, and Mando. And honestly, this is this is a pretty decent like like this this GG nest business. Like that, that's a pretty decent squad because you can't use. This, you can use a few different squads. However, you could use Treya if you wanted to. If, if you're, if you had your heart set on it, you, you could do that. And look at how little I respect Grievous here, guys. I did. I used my disintegrate on Nest before I actually killed Grievous. Because at the end of the day, Grievous, you know, 
<laughs> we have we have Bosk here, and Bosk is gonna help us regenerate our health and protection, and uh, you know we can just take him out. Easy enough, guys. Easy peasy. 54 easy stress-free banners, guys. All right, Basti with Ezra and Old Ben. This this Jedi Revan team. I, I just love love using Jedi Revan. With, like this build is so good just because of how resilient it is. You get a bunch of turn meter. You have you you have all these dispels and well, hold on. No, you don't have any dispels, but you do have you know you're passing all the buffs. And you, you can mark, so you can target whoever you want, and just have you know focus, focus people down. You can, yeah. See, old Ben is taunting, and we're like, well, whatever. We have Mark. I mean, that's that's been the case. Like that that's been overpowered for a long time. It's just still really good. It's still overpowered, I guess. <laughs> so, so, all right. Let's let's see what we can do. To old Ben here. I mean, pretty easy. Pretty obviously easy. The the resilience on this team, though, the way the way you have Savior and then Jolie keeps everyone else alive, the, the hitting power, it's, it's just very good. Turn meter manipulation. I think that was the word I was trying to use earlier. Alright, so you have the double Kylo team here, and uh, let's see, I think I... What did I do with Hoda? Why isn't Hoda here? I, I have no idea. Was he on that? Was that? Was he on that cam team? Maybe that was what it was. But you want Jedi Luke here, guys. People think that Jedi Luke can can solo things, and I guess he can some things. But this this squad is probably beyond him. Like this is probably too much to chew at once. And so old Ben is there just almost for moral support, but also he's taking a decent amount of turns. Like you know, he's faster than Luke is at least. So. You'll note that all of these First Order guys are slower than Luke, and so Luke is reducing all of their speed and everything. But Old Ben is nice because he's also helping to reset that uh, Jedi... Whatever. The, the Jedi's will, or Jedi won't, whatever it is. So, okay. I don't know why I, I wasn't just killing crew there. Yeah, there we go. So Red, Red obviously is doing some damage, but... At the very least, if I have to double tap this squad, it's good to get crew out of the way. Because crew isn't going to... Crew... Uh, crew's the lead. And, I mean, th these other two are good and all, but they're not... They're not nothing too crazy. They're not transcendent. Like, you, you can clean it up pretty easy, I guess, is the point I'm making. So, alright, got, got through that top zone. Not, not too bad. And... I mean, the, I think the the dicey thing about this this whole match, guys, was how many GLs we both placed on defense. I mean, it's just so sketchy. But I mean, I ultimately I I did trap the guy pretty good. He didn't expect me to have a GL in the back, and I did. And he couldn't clear it because GLs are the currency here, guys. So, I mean, this is this is the this is the Kylo team that that wins, guys. I I liked to have. That Sith Empire or Trooper. I forget why. Well, there was a reason for it, though. I think just because he takes those those initial hits from Maul pretty nicely. I think that that's why. I think that's why you put him in there. So I know I've said a few times that in five v five or three v three, your GLs can can counter each other for you know super efficient banners and stuff. And oh yeah, that that's why we we kept Watt, guys. That's why we kept Watt. Uh, instead of using him with Je against Jedi Master Luke. See? See how that works? So, you know, we need that shield tech on Kylo. Once you get rid of Maul, then it's it's not that. Nothing too crazy, guys. Just, you know, keep force draining Royal Guard. I think this is before they fixed that bug on on Lord Vader. So, so that you're not get... Like, Kylo didn't get all of the turn meter. Or all of the ult charge. That he kind of should have, uh, you know, for doing crits and stuff. He just wasn't getting any ult charge, or he was getting a, you know, the the non-crit ult charge. So, I mean, gosh, even in three v three, this is so tense. <laughs> even though we have three minutes to go, I mean, Lord Vader isn't popping his ult quite as fast. Uh, maybe he is. I, I don't remember. Is this the second one already? I'm not sure. But 
I don't, I don't have my ult yet. It takes longer in 3v3 to get your ult when you're Kylo. And, you know, that being said, it's, it's more relaxed because we have more time. I found my ult right before I could have gotten the, the big hit. I, I don't know why I popped it then, but apparently I thought that was a good idea. Sometimes, I mean, I, it, we're... We are now six months more familiar with Lord Vader, which, which is a pretty big deal. So, probably just played it poorly sometimes. Who knows, guys? He's still got some good stuff going here, I suppose. I mean, this is a top level player. Plays three GLs on defense, gosh. And somehow I had the audacity to do it as well after scouting him and everything. So, uh, one of my favorite teams in 3v3, guys, is this Mothra team with K2 and Cassian. And it, it's hard to transition away from your TM, you know, like the traditional turn meter gain teams. But, okay, so we don't we don't need this. This team doesn't work against the Grievous squads. Against the Grievous squad with Nest, of course. So, obviously we had to use something else. We used those bounty hunters. That was nice. Uh, but, against a Dooku squad here, I mean... Uh, man, this team has, has legs against so many cool teams. Against so many good teams out there. There's, uh... That, that's the thing, I mean... Mothra keeps dispelling all the debuffs every time you go, and Key 2 is, you know, trying to daze people and stun people, or maybe not stun, but debuff people, but then Cassian actually succeeds. You want to kill... One thing that you have to remember, though, with Cassian and K2, even though B1 or B2 is there just hammering you with his AoE every time, you still want to kill that B1 first. You've got to kill that B1 first. It's very important, because... Uh, B1 just heals B2. You can't, and you don't have enough damage. You can't actually kill them fast enough. All right, let's, let's promote worthless guy, I suppose. Uh, you can't kill people fast enough with K2 and Cassian. So, yeah, save, saving that heal at the last minute, it's, you know, it's a skill that you gain. It takes a while, but there it is. Oh man, yeah, this guy did put a pretty tough defense down. I mean, gosh, for six months ago, my roster was a lot smaller. Yeah, this, this would be a lot trickier. Okay, so Fin Fin Po, look, look at this though, guys. I mean, th this team used to be so scary. It used to be so scary, and now, I mean, it's still a little bit scary, but, I mean, you can use, like, uh, once you kind of figure out what which techs you want to use, I mean, it's not too bad. Not too bad with with crew, Hux, and Red. I mean, that seems pretty cheap to me. So, okay, one, one thing I want to point out, guys, is I kept wondering in this video why my uh, why I kept not being able to taunt with crew. And what what's happening is I'm doing crits with, with crew on people who have inspired on them. Which means that, yes, you can gain that taunt with crew, but then it, if if you gain the taunt but you crit, then it's going to, you're going to self-dispel your own buffs because of Poe and his interaction with Inspired. So I kept wondering about that. If you guys watched the actual video, I did figure it out. Yeah, so so you, got, you guys just saw that, right? I mean, that's exactly what happened. I, I taunted, and then it disappeared because the guy was Inspired. So... I don't know, just kind of a cool interaction, in my opinion. A little bit nerve-wracking here, but... You know. We can get this figured out, probably. Maybe. Perhaps. Gosh, that two-turn stun is just so broken in 3v3, guys. It just is. Crew on, crew on offense or defense. It's just so good, but it's even better on offense because then you can, you can manage around things. Okay, so check this out: Vader with IG and Quill against Bad Batch. This is, this is a little bit ballsy of me, but I needed needed to use Bam elsewhere. Like I think I would have, think it, think this would have gone pretty smoothly if I just had Bam here. But here, the thing is, Quill and IG, I have a pretty interesting interaction with damage over times, anyways. 
So, uh, Vader lead, I mean, you, you just slowly strangulate these guys, try to get as many debuffs or as many dots on them as possible, because see, Tech just dispelled them all, but they came back. And you can't do, so, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm processing here, trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, <laughs> and, and the thing is, we can't, they don't have, they have tenacity up. So we can't we can't get more debuffs on them, but they they at least retain all those dots, even though they keep trying to dispel. So you know it, it just takes a while, it takes a while here, guys, and you know they're doing like true damage and it's just this this whole mess. But you know we're, we're operating on dregs because I've had to use some fairly advanced teams to beat some of these guys, some of these other teams that we're using. So. Killed Hunter there, and once you kill Hunter, I mean, the life gets a lot easier against this squad, but I do think that this build is probably the better build on defense. Like, Hunter and Echo just have to go together, basically. Hunter and Echo, and then you can put Wrecker, uh, Wrecker or Tech. Yeah, oh, well, so, so I'm being dumb. I say Echo has to be on here, but Echo wasn't. Um, I mean, this team, this team does very well even without Echo. I, I tend to think that Echo does better, but I guess, come to think of it, I put my Echo with Shock T as well in, you know, on defense. So, I don't know. G getting, getting, I don't think it can hurt if you, if you get a little bit experimental with, with some of this stuff. So, you know, in threes, it, with, with where your, with where your various clones go on defense, that's, that's something... Probably that I will vary quite a bit. So, Grievous on offense, guys. I mean, this isn't a, this isn't the most amazing team ever, but I mean, against a mall lead, this, this is not not the worst. You're gonna get bad banners if you use Grievous in threes, but um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, didn't didn't end up being too bad. So. Maybe we can watch ships. I don't really want to, though, guys. I tell you what, you guys can go watch ships on your own. Go in the video description and watch them. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a few of the teams and how they interact and stuff. Uh, you know, it's just some thoughts, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Threes, obviously, we have a ton more teams, but a ton of these teams that I'm showing you guys, I'm gonna be using as well in threes, and I, I encourage you guys to as well. So, uh, a match between one top shelf player and uh, whatever you consider me to be, you know, I'm <laughs> medium, medium high shelf player. I, I'm not sure, guys, but one way or another, uh, come watch me on Twitch if you want live. So we'll be figuring things out together, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, so be sure to drop a like, comment, help me mount the algorithm, all that, guys. Would really appreciate that. Hope you learned something. Let me know what you think of this. Is this format just ridiculous and annoying is is it fun was should i just uh is me recycling content annoying and off-putting i would love to hear what you guys think so thank you all so much for watching and remember that in all things zareth prevails